Hey, welcome to Monday Mindset. I'm Erin Hart, and uh, in this video, we uh, each week on Monday, we talk about different mindset tips to help you to master your mindset in this weight loss journey. Losing weight is such a mental game, and so, um, so today we're just going to talk about one aspect of mastering your mindset, and it really comes all down to patience and just be, having an abundance of patience. So if you don't know me, I'm Erin Hart. I'm a registered nurse health coach, and I help women who are wanting, who I empower women uh, who are wanting to lose weight for the last time with a sugar and flour free lifestyle so that they can find peace with their food, freedom from cravings, and the confidence to chase their dreams and fulfill their life's purpose. So, <clears throat> so today, in Monday Mindset, we're talking about resting your way to success. And <laughs> I know that that sounds um, kind of funny, but let me explain. So um, so I used to be a nurse in the ICU, and I, I, was, uh, I worked in the hospital for 15 years. And one of the things that we did, you know, it's like when someone couldn't eat, you know, they had to have an IV, they had to have IV tubing. Uh, for their nutrition or, you know, just for hydration. So they, we have like these bags of fluid and <clears throat> so we'd have to um, prime the tubing and so we could hook it up to the patient. So, you know, we'd have this tubing uh, and then we would just have to poke the bag and then, you know, fill the tubing with the fluid before we hooked it up to the person. And it was really funny because <clears throat> um, you know, if you tried to rush your way through that process, it actually took way longer. <laughs> so if you primed the tubing or like poked it in the bag and then just like let it go really quickly through the tubing, you'd get all of these bubbles and you can't have bubbles in your tubing because <laughs> it can cause an air embolism in the patient. And so, so um, so this is when I first was introduced to the term fast is slow and slow is fast. So, um, so if you try to do it fast, a lot of times it's actually slower. And then, uh, but if you slow down and do it the right way, um, it's actually, you can achieve your goal faster. <laughs> so, you know, what we would do is we would prime the tubing. I turn on the little thing so that the um, so that the liquid would go really slowly through the tubing, preventing any bubbles from getting in there. And um, so isn't it just ironic though that when we try to hurry our way to success and we take shortcuts, it actually takes us longer to get there. And it's so applicable to our weight loss journey. I, I know that a lot of you have, have experienced this, right? Like we try to take shortcuts we try to do the fads or the gimmicks or the quick fixes, but ultimately, you know, it um, it doesn't serve us and and it takes us longer to actually achieve our goal. But if we can do it the right way and rest our way to success, put on our bunny slippers as Su as Susan Pierce Thompson. Um, I love um, in the book Bright Light and Eating. By Susan Pierce Thompson, she talks about this principle of putting on your bunny slippers, going through your life as if you're wearing bunny slippers um, <clears throat> when you're in the weight loss phase. Because losing weight, it's really hard on your body, and um, and so you need to rest your way to success. Um, stress is a really big barrier to weight loss, and um, so some of the physiological things that happen when our body is stressed, um, it we just have resistance to weight loss. Uh, because we if we're in fight or flight mode, you know that sympathetic mode where we're like stressed and anxious or um, you know like there's a bear in the house, right? <laughs> when we're living in that fear, anxiety mode, um, impatience mode, um, why would our body let go of ener energy stores in that state, right? Like it needs to hold on to the energy stores. So when our body has excessive stress, it impacts our ability to lose weight. Uh, so 
<clears throat> so um, physiologically, when we're very stressed, we have high cortisol levels. And cortisol, what it does in our body is it increases the blood sugar um, significantly over time. And that leads to the increased ri um, risk of insulin resistance and diabetes. Um, when, we're, uh, when our bodies are really stressed, our blood pressure increases, um, which increases the likelihood of stroke, kidney, and heart disease, right? Um, we, when, our, when we're stressed, we have <clears throat> more free radical production. Uh, we also, you know, our metabolism actually slows down. So when we're stressed, um, you know, as the elevated cortisol levels persist, um, reverse T3 levels increase. And so the amount of useful intracellular T3 available for healthy thyroid function, it reduces. And so subsequently our metabolism slows. And so it's just a fancy way of saying that when we're stressed, <clears throat> our body resists weight loss. Um, you know, it also increases our risk of anxiety and depression and dementia. So it's this, um, so it's just, you know, they all feed into each other. So the purpose of this video today is just to talk about how um, to avoid stress. If you are in the weight loss phase, you really want to decrease the amount of stress in your life. <clears throat> um, and also not to stress about your weight loss, <laughs> which sometimes we do. So I'd like to invite you to adopt the goal to feel good now, um, mentally and emotionally. Um, not only because we want to have a happier life, but also because it helps us to achieve our weight loss goals faster. So put on your bunny slippers, go through life as if you are wearing bunny slippers in the weight loss phase. Um, we talked a few weeks ago about doing temperature checks uh, throughout the day and, um, you know, identifying your emotions. So it's that principle of S-E-W, sensation, emotion, and um, wants. So trying to really identify the sensations you're having in your body, what emotion is it that you're feeling, and, um, and also like why, why is it that you're feeling that way? So one reason that we wanna live in a state of peace, um, joy, love, and rest, is because physiologically, if we're stressed, fearful, worried, frustrated, um, and you know our body is going to produce biochemicals like the cortisol that causes us to retain fat. Um, it's just a survival mechanism that we have. And if you're in fight or flight mode, uh, your body thinks that there's danger. So your eyes dilate. Uh, your blood vessels constrict and shunt blood to your brain and heart, and your body gives you this surge of adrenaline. And it's so helpful if there is a bear in the house, right? But if we are constantly living in the stress response day after day, it really has a damaging effect on our body, and it definitely prevents weight loss. It's very hard to lose weight when you are stressed. There are a lot of things in your life uh, that we think contribute to the stress that we feel mentally, emotionally, and physically, right? Like work, kids, family, bills, emails, uh, sickness, disease, marriage problems, right? Um, maybe for you, it's the frustration that you feel with the number on the scale and that it's just not moving as fast as you want it to. But the truth is that um, none of those things actually cause stress. Our circumstances don't make us feel stressed and worried. We feel stress, fear, and worry because of what we are thinking about our circumstances, not actually because of the circumstances. So if we can learn to master our mindset, 
and choose thoughts that will make us feel better, we can have a better result in our lives in all areas, including weight loss. What I really hope that we can achieve is to live each day in a beautiful state where no matter the circumstances, uh, we can have resilience, grit, and optimism. So when I say fast is slow and slow is fast, think of your weight loss plan. We just need to trust the meal plan <laughs> and follow it, surrender to it. Um, worrying about the number on the scale does not make it change. Um, if you're wanting things to go faster in your weight loss journey, we need to calm down, get rid of our timeline, and just focus on the process. If we get impatient and we start eating under our meal plan, um, or we make up for overeating by skipping meals, you know, that's the diet mentality and it's not sustainable. There are no shortcuts or quick fixes here. To eat under your already calorie restricted, um, calorie restricted meal plan and skip meals will most certainly sabotage you in the end. Your body will not be able to safely lose weight because it's too restricted and it will go into starvation mode and hold on to that fat to protect you. So we wanna get out of survival mode and into a restful, beautiful state. Um, so our body, for our body to be able to release weight quickly, it needs us to decrease our stress levels. Our body just needs some reassurance that everything's okay. <laughs> it needs a full night's sleep. It needs um, good nutrition from every food group. And it needs consistent meal times and healthy quantities. So we need to be aware of disordered eating that can happen for a lot of people who are restricting their food intake for weight loss. Um, so please don't restrict yourself more than the meal plan. The meal plan is such a healthy way to lose weight and it, um, such a healthy and safe way to lose weight. So if you find yourself restricting or binging or, uh, you know, binging on compliant or non-compliant food, please reach out to me for help. I understand because I've experienced a lot of disordered eating throughout my life and and I'm overcoming it too. I love, uh, I would love to help you to share, um, and I would love to just share what I've been learning and what's what's helped me. So if you're if you are in a restricting or stress binging pattern, you need to take a step back <clears throat> and adjust your goal. Um, we are going to adjust your goal from weight loss to actually having a healthy relationship with food. So if you're experiencing disordered eating, um, yeah, we have to adjust our goal. You, you um, have to earn your way to weight loss. <laughs> you know, but before you can really um, be successful with weight loss, you first have to have a, relation, a healthy relationship with food by having like several months without those disordered eating behaviors. Um, I can help you to make a plan and be accountable, uh, but it may also be important for you to reach out to a professional eating disorder specialist if it's a, if it's a severe enough problem. Um, the main goal that we have is not perfection with our meal plans. The goal is to have peace and general health and wellness, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually to live in that beautiful state, right? So that's why we started the weight loss journey in the first place was to feel better. Uh, we, we think that achieving the goal will make us our lives better and that we'll be happier then, but we can actually feel that way right now, today. Um, we don't have to wait until we achieve that goal um, to feel happiness, pride, and peace. So don't wait to be happy. Um, you can choose your thoughts that make you feel happy and peaceful today, no matter what your circumstances are. So that will serve you much better than stressing about being perfect and losing weight quickly. 
ditch the timeline. If it takes you six months or two years to get to your goal, it really doesn't matter. Because in five years, looking back, you'll be where you wanna be. So just let it happen and focus on the process. Success with weight loss requires an abundance of patience. Um, just trust and follow the fabulous plan, JFTFP, right? Just follow the fabulous plan. One meal at a time, one day at a time, wash, rinse, repeat. So let me ask you, how do you feel today? Are you stressed, anxious, discouraged, frustrated? So just breathe. Seriously, just take 10 deep breaths and do a little reset. You are exactly where you should be right now. Don't focus on the gap between where you are and where you want to be. Celebrate the gain um, from where you are right now and where you started. So don't look at how far you have to go. Look at how far you come. <clears throat> slow is fast and fast is slow. Many of you have had babies and uh, with natural childbirth, we have to learn how to relax and breathe through it, right? You rest your way to success. Um, likewise, this is a new life for you. You know, you are becoming a new version of yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And it can be painful at times uh, to change and transform. We, but we can't hurry the process or stress our, or worry our way to success. We need to relax and breathe um, to trust God, to trust ourselves, and to trust the program. It's uncomfortable to transform, but a better life is on the other side of this experience. The funny thing is that our bodies will actually release weight faster if we can maintain this calm surrender state and find joy in the process every day and isn't it just a better experience too <laughs> so um doesn't that just also sound like a better way to spend your time on earth right happy and peaceful so remember the goal is not just to lose weight it's to feel good now to love yourself right now to find joy today. Um, so do that temperature check that we talked about a few weeks ago. You know, just ask yourself, how do you feel right now? What sensations and emotions are you experiencing in your body? Why are you feeling that way? And what do you need? Um, as um, Ask yourself those questions just throughout the day. And in other words, sometimes we just have to tell ourselves to chill out. <laughs> you are exactly where you need to be. Your body is losing weight at the perfect rate for you. Don't compare yourself to others. Just keep winning the day, you know, one day after another and making progress with your habits. Focus on the process and not the outcomes. When you do that, achieving that outcome becomes inevitable. It's just a matter of having an abundance of patience and consistency over time. I believe in you and I am cheering you on. I hope you have a great week.